Startup World, Logan here. Today we're at Star Street Precinct, a vibrant destination in Wan Chai, Hong Kong. In the 1890s, Star Street was the site of a power plant, the first electricity generating station in Hong Kong. In celebration of the new street lights brought by the plant, the surrounding streets were renamed Sun, Moon, and Star. While the station was demolished in 1922, over the years, the neighborhood has evolved into a hangout spot with cozy cafes, restaurants, bars, boutique shops, galleries, and home design stores. Everything you just saw was shot on the OnePlus 8 Pro. OnePlus's newest flagship phone, and this time around, they are no longer going for the flagship killer title. With the 899 US dollar price tag, they are now one of the big boys. I really like the polished glass finish of this phone. The huge display makes the phone hard to use with one hand, but the 120Hz 1300 nits Quad HD Plus display is definitely worth it. It is so smooth and so satisfying. I can never go back to a 60Hz phone. Now, I am not a fan of the waterfall curved screen, and the palm rejection here can be a hit and miss. There can be accidental touches and pauses. Let's hope OnePlus gives us a software update that improves on that. Oh, and sometimes the pinky finger will cover the speaker grills at the bottom. I am happy though about the added wireless charging ability. Now to the cameras. I won't lie, I prefer the OnePlus 7 Pro's pop-up camera to the punch hole cutout that we have here. But the cutout barely affects the display, and you can easily get used to it. As for the rear cameras, we have a significantly larger camera bump this year with a quad camera setup. OnePlus has never been famous for its cameras, but this time around, the quality of pictures and videos from this phone is up there with the other flagships. Although I must say I have no idea what the color filter camera is for. Anyway, let's roll some more footage from the phone.